Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here. Having a great F5 experience where you can set breakpoints and step through code is a fundamental requirement for good development. To achieve this with a dapperized app, Dapper has to be started, then the app, and finally attach the debugger. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Dapper extension to set this up. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect. To follow along, watch the how to create an input binding with Dapper video because we're using that code to debug. If you haven't watched it, there's a link in the description below. You will also need the Dapper extension installed. By the end of this video, you're going to have a great F5 debug experience for your Dapperized application. Now let's jump into Visual Studio Code. First, create a launch.json file to hold the debug configurations. Update the args of the configuration to set the port of the application to 5000. Next, remove line 17 through 21 so a browser is not opened during debugging. With the configuration updated, use the dapper extension to scaffold the task.json file. This is the file that starts dapper before the debugger is attached to the application. Following the prompts, select the updated configuration, assign an app ID, and the application port. Update the task.json file to set the components path to the project folder where the input binding is defined. Now, set the desired breakpoints in the code. Finally, select the correct debug configuration and start debugging. Once the with dapper configuration is selected, you can simply press F5 to start future debug sessions. This configuration will build the application, start dapper, then launch the code with the debugger attached. As soon as a tweet is sent that matches the binding query, the breakpoint is hit. Thanks to the dapper extension, it's easy to have a great F5 debug experience for your dapperized applications. To learn more, visit dapper.io and join the dapper community on Discord. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect.